And she's described as funny and sophisticated and someone who teaches while making jokes. Meet Queens comedian Leanne Lord. Making jokes, telling jokes, you know, depends on which side of the Mississippi you're on. All right, let's get... All they have in the Caribbean is those little puddle jumper planes, right? I was just in one. The man didn't even tell me to turn my cell phone off. <laughs> he was like, no, baby, I might want to keep that turned on in case of an emergency. <laughs> That is Leanne Lord, and she's a local stand-up comic. She's here with us today. Welcome, Leanne. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. We saw a pro profile of you. Profile of you, excuse me. And sometimes on the debrief, we like to slow the pace. Okay. Take time and smell the roses and crack jokes about them as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. You. Uh, we thought it was interesting because you spent last year uh, traveling, trying to entertain our troops. Tell yes. us about that experience. Oh my gosh! I, I have to say, uh, performing for the troops is the most amazing experience. They mm -hmm. are the best audience. It, they really are. They, yeah. really are. They, they, they love that you come. They love that you haven't forgotten them. Uh -huh. And the best part sometimes isn't even the show. Okay. It's, it's talking to them before and after and, and them showing you what, what they do. Right. Uh, they even show you how to fire weapons, which uh, I've learned you do not want me to have a weapon in my hand. We don't. No. Okay. No. Not a good move. No. Okay. All right. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself because you're out on the circuit. We know, and most people don't realize how difficult it is to be a stand-up comic. Is that right? Yes, it is difficult. You, do you, people always expect you to be on and crack jokes. Yeah. And... Always on, always funny. You know, people kind of look at you for like, what's your take on that. I'm like, yeah. oh, I wasn't ready. I didn't study. What? What's going on? <laughs> so you're from Queens. I am from Queens. You grew up there. How Born much of that is part of your material and your family? Wow. Well, first of all, my family, I, I think I get a lot of my humor from my family. Oh. And I'll be first to say I'm not the funniest person in my family. I'm just the only one crazy enough to try to get paid. Okay. <laughs> so they're but, just naturally funny. Yes, they are naturally funny. I remember the first time I saw the Cosby show, I'm like, oh my gosh, those are my parents. Uh-huh. Yeah. Your background, I saw, was a journalism degree, is that right? Journalism and creative writing, absolutely. Okay, well, that's kind of an indirect road. What did you, did you always know you wanted to be a comic? No, I didn't. I was as quiet as it's kept. I was originally a finance major. I was supposed to be a stockbroker. Uh -huh. And then I took an economics class. I said, oh, no, never mind. How hard was it for the first uh, few gigs, and how did you, you know? Oh, my gosh, you know what? Here's the problem. The first gig was great. You know, I stood on stage for five minutes. I have no idea what I said, but strangers were laughing at me, okay. and I was hooked. Really? It would have okay. been better if they hated me, then I would have went on and done something saying like be a lawyer or something. Right. But they you. liked me. Okay. What uh, what have been some of your tougher audiences? I mean, here local in New York, we have these comic clubs. Are they, they give you a break because they know you're local or, no. or t oh. harder? Oh, no. Not harder, but it, it's just a New York audience. You right. know, you, you, you come hard or stay home. Okay. You have to bring it, you know, especially here. Money's tight. Right. You know, they spend all their money on rent. They done scraped up a couple of dollars to, to buy to a couple of drinks. Club. You better have it going on. Okay. Well, how do you distinguish yourself uh, among other comedians? Wow. You know what? I really just try to be me. I try to be personable. Okay. You know, I, as other people have described me, they say, come on, I'm classy. Uh -huh. I, I create a nice, friendly atmosphere. You come to my show, you're not going to get hurt. Okay. I'm not going to talk about what you're wearing. You know what you put on that morning. I'm not going to say nothing about it. I'm going to make you feel good when you come to my show. Well, we heard you talking about traveling with the airlines. What are some oh. of the other things that you might touch upon? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, we're going to talk about the fiscal cliff a little uh -huh. bit. Uh, I'm investing in Twinkies. Uh, that didn't really turn out too well. No. No. Okay. <laughs> we we gonna talk about imaginary girlfriends. Uh, oh. <laughs> timely as a very late. timely, very timely. Although you know what, I think that child has missed his calling. Everybody's looking at him to do football with skills like that. He could be in Congress. He should be out in Hollywood because he's creating <laughs> fiction. So football is not his thing. You find out about you on the website? No, absolutely. I list all my shows on my website, veryfunnylady.com, and I've got some really wonderful stuff coming up. All right, Leanne. Well, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. We'll thank look forward you. to it. Maybe come by and see the show. Oh, please. All right. <laughs>